Welcome guys to tutorial MBT. My name is Tofila. Guys, um, I would like to show you on how to edit this type of graph. And uh, for those who are going to watch this video until the end, I will show them another tips on how to, other way on how to plot again another graph according to what you want to show. So the first thing is when you are editing the graph, this is a PCA graph, then if you want to write, for example, let's say uh, you want to show, for example, your axis. You know, there are four quadrants, but you want to show only two. How can you edit that? And how can you edit the inside or change the color? Let's say, for example, this, if I need to change the color of those uh, plot that link to the site, I'm going to right click and select. And um, you see, then I will go into the chat and look for the color that I want. Let's say I want this red, then I will go to this is the outline. I want to fill this red. I'm filling. And I want to change the symbol. But before, I need to apply. And then I want to change the symbol. Let's say, for example, I want to put those marks as a uh, square. Yeah. And then I apply. There will be red square. And then another one. If I change the vectors, into different colors so you need to click on one of these vectors if you see a, a plus i mean this sign then right click circle all of them then change the color if you pick purple let's see how purple will look like apply see if you want red if you want blue if you want dark I mean, any color that you want, that your choice. So I chose purple and then I'll leave it like this. Then if I want the uh, site to change into another color, I can just right click, reshuffle them and choose for the color that I want. Let's say I want my site to be since they are black, I want to be blue. Then apply. See, I can close, I can play with chart here with different uh, symbol just by going right. Um, see the symbol and the color changes, the font. I can change as well the font of the, the species. Let's say these names, I wanted them to be another font. Let's see this term Roman, but um, I want, for example, the sense, say, if, if it's the you can choose, you see different font here. I can put it in Microsoft, I can put it whatever I want to, Himalaya. If I want any type of the, I can remove the italics. I can say no, normal. For example, if I do this, everything will change. Then I, I just need to apply. It changes. So since a species, they need to be in italic, then I have to go back and put italic, then apply. It will change. Another trick is to, if you want the effect to be underlined, I mean, the species name to have uh, a line below them. So it's up to you. Everything but remember, this is a scientific paper, so all work. So you need to make it in a way that it is acceptable, not all the fancy things that you have to do. But now you can change the way I'm changing. 
I'm removing the lines then I can go to if I want it to be without you know the color I'm just gonna apply there the color will disappear you see the species are gone then if I put it back and I apply the species will come so let's show you if you want to edit inside the graph if you want to edit anyway inside the graph you need to go um, on the A plus click there let's say for example you want to show uh, the legend you may again play with different size see all those things yeah and then if you would like to go back to the initial space you just go here and uh, undo going to flip our graph and we're just playing around with graph until you get to the point where you're supposed to There are quite a lot of things that you can do here. See, if you go, you can recreate the graph as it was before. Then, if you want to edit, you can go there. There's different uh, view, I mean, step that you can go through tools and tabs. Yeah, if you want to save your graph, if you want to move away, if you want to um, undo what you're doing. You can just go there and undo, undo, undo. There we go. So now, if I want to remove it again, I'm just gonna click on undo again. Now oh, that's good. But um, you can design anything you want to, any hour in any way. So all depends on what you are willing to do if i want to write you just click in and write something on top so this is how you if you want to add some display or some distance like showing the different let's say you want to show the distance between uh let's say between these two graphs you can and see as you can see guys the site are clearly you know are visible you can see how the plot are grouped this one are grouped together but a little bit dissimilar within the species itself yeah, the species are quite similar than they so if you want to head the plus you can head uh, like this and you wanna so for example the distance between these two you know these two uh, arrow or the vectors so see how distance they are compared to this one and this one so if you look at this one for example too uh if you wanna go here yeah. today see how short it is so the distance quite short and then when you look at this and that and when you look also at these two very close here but distant from that side. so this is how you have to play around with your your graph you can edit as much as you want you can change the name the point where your graph will be perfect for your presentation or for your um, publication.
So in this case, for example, I told you guys that I'm going to show another trick. Like if you wanna, since the graph is built already, and uh, we, let's say you decided you don't like it, you don't want it, then you can go to graph and choose. So you go to graph. Since you have the graph already within your project, choose if you want the species only without the environmental variable. But it's up to you. If you want the sample only, meaning the, the plot only. If you want the environmental variable only, so you can also get it. If you want both the environmental variable, also you can get it and the species. So it depends on what you want. But this one gives you the opportunity to run if it's species and sample only it means species and plot if i want to make a species and plot you just go there so we're gonna see another graph that has species without the environmental variable so the program is busy processing the graph So you see we had two graphs at the beginning now we have the third one now as you can see there's no if you look at the first one you can see ph is there when you go to the third one ph is not there now you can also play around by you know by changing the the color of your vectors let's see for this one i want to put it red then I apply, but those are outline. I need to put it in the filling. So, and then apply and close. So, this is how you can change the color. Now, if I want again to draw another graph with another type of sample, let's see to redraw the previous one. I will go here and draw another one. So, this one will be similar to graph one then graph 3 is all presented in the right now in front of us there you go now you can see here ph is back but on the on the third graph there's no ph if you go on the first one there's ph now if you want to draw another one let's say this will be only plot and the environmental variable. So there will be no species. There you go. You can see that this one is similar to number two. You see? So this is how you can plot different type of graph. You can zoom in. You can describe the content. You can recreate the graph. You can range your axis. And you can even show the case information, you know, the legend, if you want to put legend again, you know, all those things, you want to delete your graph, easy. So guys, this is the easy way, guys, you can, you know, try to, the easy way, guys, you guys can try to sort out your graph. Or your study whenever you are doing take time to repeat yourself within the analysis that you are doing for you to be able to master your program because without mastering this program then once you face a problem in terms of graphs or in terms of the analysis this will nail you down and it's gonna make your it was difficult for you to sort out certain things so you need to make sure that you know um, your timing when you are busy writing your work or dissertation or assignment make sure that you you are able to run yourself you know the analysis then running behind the time all those things so quite uh, annoying whatever you 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 late so yeah so this is how you can 
can change, you know. Look at this, uh, the environmental variable. So this for species, if I want to change the environmental variable, I can make it as a dark blue and see and apply. So they stand a little bit, you know, out of these. Uh, so I didn't select, guys. You see the problem why you're not selecting. Um, you need to make sure that you select the vector that you want to change. Otherwise, you will select other things. Then you won't be able to see like this one is right. Let's see if it's going to work. There it's working. Now. So you go there and put it in dark blue and see. Deck. Yeah, now, perfect. So this is how I need to change, you know. I can even change the... In this case, we didn't put the site. See, there's no site. See, there's no, but here there's a site. So with this plot here, I can even change the, you know, I can show and draw stuff inside there. Eh? Yeah, whatever I want to do with the graph. You no, know? but with this one, there's no plot, but there's only species and vector. So, this is how you can play around with colors, play around with symbol, play around with font to change your graph. So the display is up to you the way you want to display it. If you want to copy, you can right click and copy this. Or you can, as I show you here, I show you guys the on how to, you know, to copy your graph, you know. All the thing you can copy it from there, or you can just right click and copy. You can zoom in, you can make it smaller and bigger. You can go there and change, for example, you want to magnify it for you know, you can make it bigger and bigger as much as you want, or you can make it so that anyone can see. Like this is the whole page, you know. You, know, you change like this. You change the way you want. Shift it. No. You can change it the way you want. Now, if you want some other analysis, you can reanalyze, you can set up, you can add some new stuff, you know. You can clear what you don't want. You can make it as, you know, the format that you want from whatever PNG to PDF. You know, you can delete, you can save your data for your next uh, analysis into those uh, files. So there's a lot of things guys can do with Kanoko. And uh, I really appreciate your time and see how guys can also, you know, analyze your data and mostly when you're using Kanoko. And make sure that guys, your data settings or display is quite on top of it otherwise you're not going to be able to run any analysis so and that said so i would like to thank you guys and uh, ask you to please uh, subscribe if it's your first time and i've put link uh for the other video with uh, in the description place a way you can go through and link with other video for whatever problem you are facing but this is how you can play around with kanoko so what left now is to make a video on how to you know explain the situation that we are facing right now here yeah. So thank you guys and all the best. See you next time. Cheers.